Hello. Okay, so my mom and I both ordered this lovely book, The Breads of the World and How to Bake Them at Home. And we are going to work through it, a couple of bread recipes per month for the next two years <laughs> in the attempts to learn how to make different types of bread. Uh, neither of us are confident bread bakers. So the idea is that we look foolish together and attempt to learn something. Our very first bread is the granary pop from the UK. Challenges one through four are that um, ingredients for these kinds of things are not that easy to find. And I'm already having to make adjustments. So the idea is to use whole grain flour or granary flour or malt house milled flour. Online it said a good substitute is oat flour because I couldn't find any of that. And fresh yeast is really hard to find. I've heard that there's a place here not that far away, so maybe I will venture out when COVID is a little less intense. So let's see, this is gonna be a huge process. Okay, so first we need to lightly flour baking sheet. I've done that, you can't see. Oh, you can see it right there. And then we're going to sift the flour and salt together in a large bowl and make a well in the center place in a very low oven for five minutes to warm. So I've already preheated my oven to 300. I'm not sure what constitutes as low, but that's, um, that's what I'm going with. I need four cups of this. It says to sift it, so I'm going to sift it. We're gonna see. I don't even know if there's four cups in this bag. Let's take a look. Mm, that smells good. Okay, that's three. This is where you need a sous chef. Here we go. I'm gonna take it over. Two teaspoons of salt. Keep sifting. Okay. And our other cup of flour, you're going to dump the bowl, son. Whoa. Harder than that. Is it coming out? That works. Don't dump it. Smile at the camera side. 
feel. Nothing's coming yeah. off. Yes, it is. You got to squeeze hard. Over the bowl, over the bowl. Why can't we just put this in the mixer? <laughs> you get a break? No fair! <laughs> I get a break now. Yeah, the That's hard. It is hard. Your forearm's burning it? Yes. <laughs> skip this part. I think she did. I think she cheated. Because she was way too happy when she called me this morning. <laughs> why? That's why when I go up, I'm not going to own one of these. <laughs> <laughs> what? When you grow up, you're not going to own a sister? Okay. I'm going to Is this, all, is this all four cups? Yes. Because I feel like... Here, come here for the other side. Because <laughs> nothing's coming out. It is? Look. Hey, look what I found. Shout out to my mother-in-law. I forgot I had this. <laughs> Screw this crap. Because it's annoying. And we're going to do this. Be right back. Right now, this is amazing. <laughs> oh, we're having a mind blowing moment here with um, kitchen gadgets. So, ladies, when your spouse doesn't want to buy you <laughs> KitchenAid additions, isn't that beautiful? Ah. Okay, well, we're going to see what happens when I turn this puppy on. Please pardon the baby screaming in the background. Tis the season. Hey, Mom, you cheated. Okay. She's still crying and I didn't do anything to her. All right. Take 
<laughs> you see how neat that is down there? This one, I'll show you in a minute. Well, I guess we'll show it now. So you, while it's working, you take it off. Okay, so now we have our salt and flour sifted together and I made a well in the center. That's just a hole. That's all it is. And now it says put in a low oven for about five minutes. We're working out the stabilizing here. What's that for? Who are you talking to? Oh, primarily myself. Oh, so you're just letting people watch what you're making? That's right. Mommy, tell them what I got Are you putting it on YouTube? Or? Uh, tell them what I got Yes. Cool. Is that on the leaf pen? No, you may not. Five minutes. Mommy, tell them what Yaya did. You. I did tell them. Yaya cheated. She definitely did. Mm -hmm. She needs to get herself a kitchen attachment. Okay, so that's going to be there for five minutes. And it says mix the yeast with a little of the water or milk mixture. Was I supposed to have a milk mixture? Her. Okay. Okay. Okay, buddy. Okay, I need one and a fourth cups of warm water. There it is. My very, I feel like you can't read it anymore. I really do bake quite a bit, but I don't do this. This is new. Totally new. So, everything <clears throat> that you see, I am doubting myself horribly. Good night. All right. Warm water. That's not how you measure it properly. I'll do what my lovely home ec teacher taught me to do. But one and a fourth. Voila. Uh, so it calls for fresh yeast. I don't have fresh yeast. But it also says that you can do half an ounce of fresh yeast. Or... One envelope of active dry yeast is a fourth of an ounce. Two and one fourth teaspoons of active dry yeast is a fourth of an ounce. So I need four and a half teaspoons. Which I don't believe I have. We'll see. Okay, it's all of it. I love the smell of yeast. Oh, that's a weird one. It reminds me of an oatmeal bath, which gives me flashbacks of having chicken pox as a child. Okay. Well, that's all she wrote on that. So. <clears throat> Okay, then I leave that like there. I'm gonna pour it in the middle of my dough mixture and it says turn onto a lightly floured surface and knead for about 10 minutes until smooth and elastic. Place in a lightly oiled bowl, cover with lightly oiled plastic wrap and let rise in a warm place for one and a quarter hours or until double in bulk. All right, so my rings are coming off now because now we're getting serious up in here. And they're going there. And this shit's going in the trash. And Abby, oh, what's up? Okay, now we're pulling this out of the oven. Pouring this in. There we go. And the top. Seems like a 
lot of water, but okay. Mix these to the dough, pour in the center of the flour and mix to a dough. Turn out onto lightly floured surface and knead for about 10 minutes until smooth and elastic. Holy moly. All right. This is the part where I'm like, mmm. Huge kitchen, kitchen island to serve beautiful purposes. Okay. Make and do, make and do, do. Uh, no, that that the most works thing. Already taking my rings off. Here we go. Now I'm going to turn out. There we go. So an issue I can already see happening is that I'm making really nice bread. But now I want fancy butter to put on it. And I don't have fancy butter. <laughs> I don't want to make fancy butter. <laughs> so we're supposed to do this for about 10 minutes. That bottom drawer that most of us supposed to keep our pans in as a proving drawer. The issue is it's not very deep. Hello again. It's been a while since I left this to rise. It rose covered up for about two hours. And then my friend Sarah came over and did the three minute kneading because we were out of the house and left it to rise some more. And now I've pulled it out and we're doing a teaspoon of salt and two tablespoons of water mixture. Covering the top in that. And then you're supposed to do cracked wheat germ on top. I don't have any wheat germ, so I'm using oats just to give it that pretty look what I made feeling. Okay, and now it's going back, it's going in the oven, which is where it was warming. Uh, the oven has to get up to 450, and it's there for 15 minutes, and then 400 for So it did its first 15 minutes at 450. I pulled it out. I was supposed to lower the heat to 400. I did that and put it back in for 20 minutes, so it's back in and it looks terrible. And I follow the directions perfectly, I think. So, and my mother who cheated and didn't sift her flour, first turned out edible. I'm gonna have to get used to this failure thing. This is, um, this is why. This is why I wanted to do the bread challenge with my mom because it does not come naturally for me at all and it's really freaking hard. I do not have a natural knack for making bread. So I will share a finished photo with you when it comes out in about 15 minutes. It looks, looks bad. It looks really bad. We'll see.